guys welcome back to my channel my name is Des and this is books and stuff I am coming to you today with opening history by mail and as you know this is a, a monthly subscription I will link everything down below and it's all for history and history fans so I did not open it yet this is a really affordable one I think I spent like $75 for the year um, when I got it it is six or seven dollars a month um it's a great thing to do with your family um and kids anybody who's into history zimmerman telegram from 19 january of 1917 the interception and decoding of the enclosed telegram on january 16th 1917 was considered an impumpious for the u.s and entering World War I less than three months later, the secret communication was issued from the German foreign minister, Arthur Zimmermann, and intended for Heinrich von Eckert, the German ambassador to Mexico. The telegram gave von Eckert a set of instructions if the U.S. entered the war on the side of the Allied powers. The German ambassador was to approach Mexico's president with an offer to create secret wartime alliances. The Germans would provide financial support and weapons for a Mexican attack on the U.S., and Mexico would be free to reconquer the lost territory of Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. The ambassador was also instructed to convince the Japanese to join the war on the side of the Germans. British intelligence, specifically the cryptonic office known as Room 40, intercepted and decoded the telegram. The British waited to reveal the contents to the U.S. until they could capitalize on anti-German sentiment. In early February 1917, diplomatic relations between the U.S. and Germany were sever severed when Germany began attacking U.S. vessels in the Atlantic. Capitalizing on this movement, the British released the Zimmerman telegram to President Wilson on February 24th. Within days, the telegram's contents were the front page of newspapers nationwide. Many Americans remained committed to isolation, and President Woodward Wilson, Wilson had won re-election in 1916 on the slogan, He Kept Us Out of the War. Some Americans first claimed the telegram was fake, but the no notion was dispelled two days later when Zimmerman himself confirmed the authenticity, for reasons still unconfirmed. After the German naval attacks against American vessels, the news of Zimmerman Telegram and Zerman's own admission of its authenticity, American public opinion shifted. While most historians agree that by the early 1917, U.S. involvement in World War I was inedible, and Zimmerman's telegram was the final straw. The U.S. officially declared war on Germany on April 6, 1917. America has remained neutral for more than two and a half years since the war began in Europe. While the Allied powers fought the Central Powers in trenches of, in northern France and Belgium, even so, the U.S. had been an important supplier to the Allied powers, especially Great Britain. Twenty months after America joined the fight, the war ended on November 11, 1918. Now, it's going to go on to do a lot, say a lot more, it's double-sided. So, what they send you is an authenticity, or, I'm sorry, a duplicate of what the document was. And, um, so this is what that would have looked like. And then they also send you oh, what it is. So the decoded message transcript of the Zimmerman telegram of January, 1917 from the second, fr from second, from London number 5747. We intend to begin on the 1st of February, unrestricted submarine warfare. We shall endeavor to spite of this to keep the United States of America neutral. In the event of this not succeeding, we make Mexico a proposal for of alliance on the following basis. Make war together, make peace together, generous financial support, and an understanding on our part that Mexico is to reconquer the lost territory in Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. The settlement is detail, and detail is left to you. We will inform the president of the above most Securely, as soon as the outbreak of war with the United States of America is certain, and add the suggestion that he should, on his own, investigate and initiate, invite Japan to immediate adherence 
and at the same time mediate between Japan and ourselves. Please call the President's attention to the fact that the ruthless employment of our submarines now suffers the prospect of compelling England in a few months to make peace. Signed, Zimmerman. So I think this is really cool. And again, this is stuff that maybe you don't know about, stuff maybe you do know about, something awesome to do with your kids, family, and learn about history. I keep all mine in paper protectors and a binder that, you know, we can go back and look at later. So this is a really cool subscription box that I really enjoy. And again, we do it as a family. Sometimes we sit down and talk about it. It's just a lot of fun. It was meant for my son, um, but it became something that we all seem to enjoy. And like there are times when you're bored, you just pick it up and you start looking through it and reading it. Every month is different. This is my second year. I have never gotten a duplicate of it. So I will link everything down below, but this is History by Mail. So thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Have a wonderful day.